Hello there, my name is Ryan Anderson. I'm with IBM Edge team. This is a short demonstration uh, to show how we are applying some patterns and policies to four Raspberry Pis. Uh, so on the right hand side of the picture there, you can see a stack of four Pis uh, labeled gold, silver, bronze, and carbon, and ending with suffix 250, 142, 70, and 36. And these have been set up with the um, edge fabric and software. And what we're gonna do is uh, do a very short demonstration of applying policy and having the agreements uh, instantiate uh, on there. And then we're gonna pull the policies off and then we're gonna do the same thing again um, using patterns. So uh, let's jump right into it. Um, firstly, let's start with policy. And uh, these are the four pies. Top left corner is uh, 250 is gold. Uh, the next one, 142 here, is silver. Uh, one Number 70 is bronze, and number 36 is carbon. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go in, um, and we'll do another file and uh, have other documentation to dig into this a little bit deeper. But the two policies uh, that are most important here are the node policy, uh, which is defining the attributes for each specific node. So node policy.json uh, is in the file here. Uh, no policy.json. So that's an important one. And let's go in and have a look at that. So in this particular case, we have defined a property of this node as pi 3b plus. And that's going to be important for us later because we're going to define a deployment slash business policy that is going to require uh, a model value be pi 3 B plus. Uh, if it's pi 2 or 4 or pi 33, it won't align and it'll actually reject and, and uh, deconstruct the agreement. But in this case, we're creating alignment um, here. The serial number I've just hardwired effectively at 250. I've done the same thing on the other ones and some other configure information there as well. So let's jump out of there. That's the node policy. The other thing that we care about when we're pushing policy is the business policy. Now, the business policy comes from the other side. Um, and what's important here is we're basically looking at uh, the constraints here, as you can see. Um, there is a constraint on this business policy. When we push it up and define it, we are telling it that the business policy must have nodes that are model 3B, pi 3B plus, which is in alignment with our node. And in this case, if that constraint is met, then it can follow through on the rest of these things. And, and, and in this case, pull down the, the hello world service. So that's effectively what we're gonna do. Um, there's also a service policy, which we're not gonna get into now and it's not being tested here, but there's a third potential constraint which comes from the service side, which makes a demand of, of, of certain constraints, whether it's a model or any, any other attribute. So uh, I'm gonna skip through all of this, which is mainly about moving the, the files around. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into here and I'm gonna apply the business policy. I'm gonna add a policy, or you can use this for overwrite. In this case, Horizon Exchange, business, add the policy, the business policy.json, which we just had a look at there, and I'm gonna get it, give it a name, which is biz250. So let's go in here, and I'm gonna pop that in here. And now we have just applied that. The business policy, my cluster biz250, has been updated in the Horizon Exchange. So now when we go in here and we register our node policy, we should be able to watch, and the system and the agreement bots should understand that there's an agreement ripe to be negotiated and, and execute on that. So let's do that, node policy.json, and we're gonna watch this now. We're gonna watch the agreement list and see this unfold. Nothing yet, but let's wait for it, wait for things to handshake, and we should, if all goes well, see this unfold um, into the agreement bot negotiating and ultimately pulling that service down that was defined in the JSON files we just saw. We're doing that we can jump over to the other one here and do the same thing well oh, there we are on the left hand side you can see the uh, policy there's an agreement id the agreement's been created it just got accepted and if we watch it's going to get finalized in a few seconds there it goes there's an execution of the service and that'll follow through. And now we're gonna do the same thing for the other for us. So we push the business policy through, we're gonna register this one as well. And we're gonna do all four of these and we're gonna 
go through and using policy, a node policy and the business slash deployment policy, we're gonna um, have all of these move into a configured and um, active agreement state. That's 270. And here we go. And we'll keep an eye on that. And last but not least, let's apply the business policy here. And the node policy. And let's watch those agreement lists unfold. So you can see top right has it got the agreement, bottom left, bronze has just got its agreement. And then if all goes well in about 30 seconds or so, all four of these pies should be reconfigured. They've received their marching orders on the business slash deployment policy, as well as the node policies um, and are in an active state running the um, hello world. And there we are. So what we're gonna do next now is we're gonna go in and we are going to um, um, unregister these ones. And we're gonna do the same kind of thing, but instead of using a policy driven approach to configure, we're gonna force a pattern on there. We're gonna use different JSON files. Uh, one is the input.json. Uh, in this case, we're gonna um, uh, direct the node to load the uh, CPU message hub here. Um, and um, of course, uh, in the my creds, which we're gonna need a source, we're gonna need to ensure that the pattern is defined down here as well. Um, so again, the my creds, which we will source, will define the device ID as bronze. I have obscured the token or the password and, the, and clipped the uh, authentication here. Um, and then down at the bottom here, we're gonna do this. So now that everybody is happy and up and running, one gold, silver, bronze, and carbon, uh, let's go in uh, and let's unregister all four of them. So let's go in and uh, I'm gonna unregister and I'm root here. Uh -huh. And all four of these should be a clean slate. And as we go down here, uh, more of this will be is in the documentation, but we're effectively going to go in and we're going to source that MyCreds file, uh, which has this information on it. And importantly, the pattern, uh, the device ID, uh, and the org ID, in this case, my cluster um, and myself. Um, and then we are going to uh, register uh, using, oh, not that one. Uh, Actually, we need a pattern. Here we are, this is the one we should have had highlighted. We're gonna register with the pattern. Horizon register exchange with our authorization. This one, so let's try this. Actually, just to make sure I get the syntax right. And there it is there, 146 Horizon exchange. Oh. Horizon register node off pattern input. So there it is. So we're going to pop that in there. And then again, we're forcing the pattern. So rather than uh, the policy intersections, we're basically telling it how it's going to be. And if we have a look here, let's watch the agreement list unfolds. And if it all goes well, we should be getting this new service up and running the CPU service. There it comes. And we're going to do the same thing here. And finalization. And it should execute shortly on the top left hand side on gold. And we'll watch this unfold on the right side as well. All right. And there goes the silver on the top right-hand corner. 
and let's have a watch this one on the bottom left. And finally, bottom left, there's our agreement ID. And again, we're uh, doing the uh, CPU message hub on these ones. So if we go back while we're waiting here and have a look at the file, uh, you can see CPU message hub is defined here in the my creds and also in the um, input.json um, input file. Um, so that's got it. And if we see the agreement list negotiated on the bottom right hand corner for carbon, uh, number 36, we should have four out of four of these um, Raspberry Pis that you've seen go from um, no agreement uh, to four agreements on each of the four devices negotiated through policy. And then we unregistered them and then we re-registered using hardwired pattern um, with CPU message hub. So um, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, we'll be posting more information in the, uh, in the other details here.